We are back! First stop is the Universal Studio Store on City Walk. Second stop, Red Oven for lunch. So the reason why I had to stop at the Universal Store is they finally got fanny packs at Universal. We've been looking for them forever. And I brought this like crossover bag and it's the absolute worst thing and I hate it. So I've been using mom's fanny pack for Disney and then I needed a fanny pack for here. Happy I found it. Matches my past too. You know I like matching things. And family went out to breakfast this morning so I'm here eating an early lunch so that way we're not totally off food wise. So I'm at Red Oven for my big guy. Yum. And this is my favorite table at Big Eye, especially when I'm by myself. Because it's a perfect people watching spot. I uh, once again forgot to show up before I started eating, but got my usual Big Eye. And an ice water. I'm so proud of myself that I've been only getting ice waters. Usually I used to always, because I love my Coke Zero, I would always get a Coke Zero with my meal, and they're $4. Like, I don't have that kind of money to be spending on soda. So, I've been getting ice water for almost every meal. I have my Coke Zero back at the room that I've been drinking, and then today we're spending our whole day at Universal, so I'm gonna do the freestyle full day, so I'll get to drink a lot of Coke Zero and Slurpees, yum. Hello everyone, we're back at Universal for a full day today. I forgot to do the intro before when I was coming in, but as you saw, got my fanny pack, got some lunch, now hidden into the parks. And so now because I'm using a fanny pack, that pass holder cup that I got that I really liked, but it didn't come with a handle, can't use it now. Womp womp. So, back to my old one with the old handle. Luckily I brought it, I wasn't gonna bring it, but I had a feeling. I like handles. So, back to the old one, at least I brought it. Heading into the park. The banners as you walk up to studios is all back down after the hurricane. And since Horror Night started on Friday, finally seeing all the signs. Universal Monsters, Ghostbusters, Stranger Things, Us, Killer Clowns, and House of a Thousand Corpses. Stepping into the cafe to reactivate my cup with my discount. Reacted my cup and it's normally $9.99 plus tax, but I got a dollar off so it came to $9.58, which is a lot more than it used to be. I think it used to be seven and change, so went up a few bucks. I'm pretty shocked by the wait times. Looking at the app and the little board over here, and even then this is only a 20 minute wait. It's Sunday, so I thought it was gonna be a lot more crowded. The longest wait is Hagrid's at 90, which we figured out is never the actual wait time, so I'm kind of shocked. I thought with a Sunday it would be a lot of locals, but I guess they're preparing for their school week. But, yeah. So this park today closes at 5 for horror nights, but Island stays open until 9. So we're starting in this park, so that way if we want to stay late tonight, late 9 o'clock, but uh, it's not like the park will close on us. So, yeah. So I definitely like how Universal does their characters here a lot more than Disney. Kind of mentioned it the other day, but they kind of are roaming more, not so much, but it's not like there's ever a line, so you get to interact with them more. And I like that they're just on the street. You'll find a few in Disney, like on the street, but I know Disneyland is able to do that more because it's not as crowded. They're able to like run around the streets and stuff like that. And I think Florida is a little too crowded for them to do that. So I would like to go to Disneyland to see what that's like. But I like how they do it here. Like Hello Kitty's just literally chilling and dancing around because there's no one in there. And I'm sure behind me all those characters are out. Mom is obsessed with Beetlejuice as we all know and it's been the same guy since we've been coming. Which I think is pretty cool and he is amazing. And Mom wants to see him again. She brought, she went to see Beetlejuice the musical literally the day before we left. So she bought a shirt, but it's a long sleeves and she wants to wear it to the park. Like, you cry, but 
I wouldn't be surprised if one of these days she does wear it just to show him. So yeah, people watching and the norm, enjoying my drink. And I thought the family would have been here by now, but they're not. So I kind of don't want to go too far because then they'll be like, meet us here. And then I'll be running around. And I don't like running around. So I'm like, roll around and look at these two scary zones for Halloween Horror Nights that are by us. Still debating if we want to go or not. September is like so, like, I, once again, I'm petrified of going to houses, but like all the reviews say like it's like the least scary year it has ever been. So like that might be good for us. <laughs> so, debating. There's one tonight and there's one on Thursday. So I'll have to chat with the fan and see. But I'd rather come back in October for uh, Halloween time. It just feels so early to me to be doing it. The window displays at the Universal Studios store it looks really awesome. I love them all. I love the neon -y look of the shares Horror Nights. I really like, usually I don't really like the merch for Halloween Horror Nights. It's like not my style, but this year, I really like it. If I go, then I would definitely get a shirt. But I feel like I can't get a shirt if I don't go. But I really like it. I think Popeye's looking to buy some snacks. Family arrived. Going on Minions first. It says a 20 minute wait, but I don't even think it's that long. It was only a five minute wait. Not even. Fourth right in. Your training will begin soon, but be warned, danger works at every time. <laughs> I think this is Bradley's new favorite ride, right? Yeah. Like this. Jim and Fallon. Race through New York. What's your favorite part? The whole thing? Good answer. So mom originally stopped over at the Monsters Cafe outside for a pretzel. And it was 8 50. She's like, I ain't paying 8 50. I was like, wow. I know they have expensive stuff, but not 8 50 dumb. And I went to another stand. I was like, wow, it's only. $6.50 here with the cheese and it was because this one is a Bavarian pretzel and the other one is just that normal pretzel but we got the normal pretzels we get it without the cheese so it saves us like a dollar like in Disney and we passed by the Monster Cafe pretzels and the Bavarian one looked a little thicker I would say so we got two of the other one and it looked Looks like the normal ones. The other ones were just a little thicker, I would say. Same size, though. Heading into the pass holder lounge for our magnet. And there is a line. So the line was so long that they're sending us across the street if we just wanted the magnet and pin, which is all we wanted. We didn't want to buy anything. We have about an hour until the park closes for day guests. All the stay and scream area stuff is up. 